Good evening, everyone. How are you this evening? We've had a pretty busy, uh, <coughs> pretty busy, um, pretty busy day today. We've been mowing, weed eating. I had to mow our hill, which is never fun, but you know, if you keep putting something off, it's just going to get harder and harder. But at tomorrow hill, pulled a little, pulled a few weeds and whatnot, and picked up some logs and branches that we had littered in our yard, and just, just all such like that. And we're also getting ready to go mow and weed eat my uh, aunt's aunt's house in town just a little bit. But want to come out, wanted to come out and make a quick video before we did do that. So here I am. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I can't believe we have nine days of uh, of this month left, of August left. That to me is just crazy, to say the least. To say the most or whatever. <laughs> yeah, least. But anyhow, um, got a special type of short hopefully planned for tomorrow. I'm going to call it Paint the Sky. Doing fireworks, of course. Um, in particular, uh, the very first time that I'm going to take two, two canister shell fuses and tape the uh, ends of the fuses together so I can get two from one light, which never done it like that before. If it works, I'm going to have to definitely try it in the future. If it don't work, then I'm just going to have to think of something else. Uh, I don't do fusing, by the way, because I think it's silly. I really don't see a point in it. But I, I think it's silly because I like personally going, put one in the tube, light, put one in the tube, light. I like doing it that way. I mean, that's the way that's been, that it's been done for uh, decades, years. Sorry, years, decades now. And don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with fusing. I just think fusing is a little bit confusing. That sounded like a pun, and I didn't really mean to make it sound like a pun. But would love to learn how to fuse down the road, say probably three or four years from now, if I really get into it. But... You know, I'm fine doing it the old school way. <coughs> oh, also wanted to say this. Um, I've thought of a idea that we can do for, that I'm going to do for, like a Christmas video idea. Like, those of the family who and friends who don't mind having a camera shoved in their face... Maybe describe in uh, in 50 seconds or less what Christmas means to you. I'd love to be able to do the whole family. But at the same time, if the whole family is not comfortable with that, you know, then that's fine too. But anyhow, that's my Christmas special idea. Now... Still need a Thanksgiving one. Well, I kind of have a Thanksgiving special idea, but uh, I'm thinking maybe all of us older ones, like maybe do a little parkour relay race type thing all around the house. Sort of like that, maybe a little bit. And the fastest time, um, I don't know. The fastest time we'll get something. I don't really know off the top of my head at the moment, but, at the moment, but I really don't know. Maybe we'll just go all around, all around, 
Ask him what we're thankful for. I really don't know. <laughs> kind of similar to my Christmas idea, but different at the same time. But we'll just have to think about it. Gonna have to ask Jackson, Brendan, and the girls about that. See what they think. <sighs> I'm telling you guys, this I almost said this corn, but... These soybeans are really getting tall. In which case, well, I'm pretty short. I think I'm like five, nine and a half, something like that. But yeah, these are probably up to my, like my waist area. Kind of cool. Also wanted to mention this, everyone, guys, girls, boys and girls of all ages, this coming fall, I'm wanting to do like a series of special videos, maybe like two or three videos every week or whatever, or every few days where I tell a very specific story. Like, kind of like how I told the, uh, the Beast of Busco story, where that massive alligator snapping turtle supposedly was spotted and currently lives now. But got in got a couple Indiana folklore legends videos. Also wanting to do a couple of Ohio folklore legends. Maybe some Kentucky folklore legends. Uh, Alabama, Tennessee, Pennsylvania. Hey, this is just me. If you if you're in Pennsylvania and you hear about a bridge that collapsed from a massive wind creature. You know what pops into my head? Mothman. But yeah, I definitely want to talk about the Mothman with Pennsylvania. Want to see if I can talk about the Ohio Grassman with Ohio. And I I'm really not super sure. Just have to see what, what I find here. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more here at the Chronicles of Drew Bear, I uh, just walked into a tree branch again. Good grief, what's wrong with me? If you'd like to see more here at the Chronicles of Drew Bear, make sure you uh, hit subscribe, like, and, uh, you know, just stay tuned. I'm going to try to ha have some special videos, hopefully coming out here within the next few weeks with the weather getting cooler here and fall kind of being in the in the swing of things maybe, maybe some stories and you know with that hope you enjoyed and take care everyone